Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a long-term review on the Skagen. Um, this was a watch I purchased uh, months ago on eBay and it's still in the fleet. Love this watch. Uh, just take, just going to show it to you very, very sh briefly on the NATO strap here. As you can see, it's a very versatile watch. You can definitely put it on the NATO. Um, you can definitely put it on a a metal strap and you can also definitely put it on the stock leather strap that it comes with this is the easy glide system um, I think it's definitely an upgrade again for a watch under a hundred dollars um, I, I don't really see this technology too much but I think it's definitely a nice upgrade so remember the rule buckle up so there's your buckle on the top and this is a green strap that comes with it, which actually matches the subdial of the watch. So I will show that to you in one second, just show you how easy that is to put in. So the sub second hand is indeed green. This strap is green. So the look of this watch is very similar to the luxury brand Nomos. Um, I like how Skagen doesn't directly copy it, like the Seagull piece that's out there right now from Japan. Um, this is a quartz movement, not an automatic movement. Uh, so you'll get that quartz accuracy um, over the automatic. And changing the battery, you can definitely do yourself without any experience whatsoever because you have a little notch here that you can put a little screwdriver in and just get that right up. So no need for any type of uh, you know equipment uh, like a press or anything. So I think that's definitely a plus indeed. Uh, the watch wears, wears very comfortably on the wrist. Um, I have a seven inch wrist, this is a 42 millimeter, and the watch is just extremely comfortable. I love the fact that you can wear this watch as a dress watch, you can wear this watch with shirt and jeans, or should I say a t-shirt and jeans. Um, so you can definitely do casual and you can definitely go a little bit dressy with this. Uh, it all depends on the strap. And obviously not all watches you can do that with. So um, I, I really like this design too because I really believe that even if you wore this 10, 20 years from now, that just this particular design is so simple that it doesn't, you know, the times won't change. The, the you know in regards to whether or not this watch will stay in style and be relevant or not I mean I think when you as a watch a watch brand can keep a watch as design as simple as this I think you definitely have a timeless piece so again you got the thinness it's lightweight um, this is not a sapphire crystal but I don't expect it at this price point you know um, so yeah, anybody looking for a everyday watch that this this could actually be the single watch in your collection because of its versatility, I definitely highly highly recommend it. So thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe if you haven't already and like the video if you have indeed liked it. It definitely helps me out. So thank you so much. Have a good day. action. Thank you for watching Average Joe Watch Reviews. Please like and subscribe and turn on those bells so you get notified for each video. Please share so that everyone else can subscribe and get notified. And you can spread the word of the best channel, Average Joe Watch Reviews. Please subscribe.